Uh, let's get some more applause going here. So My little Georgia Peach and I are going to Cabo. <laughs> you got us to take us to Cabo to celebrate being laid off? <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured with all the free time, Cabo. <laughs> I'm repurposing old oil cans to use for cups now. <laughs> you want to take us to Cabo? I mean, you've been jobless for a week. Come on, you'll, you'll get right back on that horse and ride it to success. The met metaphors don't help the fact I lost all of our benefits. Yeah. I was the only breadwinner in this family, George. Well, uh, looks like the bread eater may be taking it a cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to ask you about that. The pantry's empty, George. <laughs> Good thing I got groceries. You got groceries? <laughs> Why not? Beaches are in season. The sun is blooming. Half that stuff I got out of the neighbor's minivan while they were unloaded. <laughs> the, the Petersons have been stealing from the Petersons minivan? That Honda Odyssey? Mmm, nothing rides like a Honda Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> I've been staring at it for so long. They have everything. <laughs> well, they don't have Campbell's soup anymore. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> oh. oh, man. I don't know what's going on. We're going to live like kings now. <laughs> and queens. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a crime. <laughs> what's that? That's a crime you committed there, stealing people's soup from their nice Honda Odyssey. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first crime I've committed. Hey, give me all your money. <laughs> That's a banana, sir. But <laughs> if you're this insane, take everything I got. Try it. Oh, those were the days. Yeah, so that story was a big hit at the Christmas party. You know? <laughs> oh, my husband won the banana, threatening everyone. <laughs> Give me your money. <laughs> yeah, 15 years of wedded bliss. Uh, been a dream ride with you, honey. It's almost been too much fun. Now if I scrub a little bit harder, you can hardly see the pencil with the logo. So. <laughs> I don't really think this is necessary. We have a, we have a cupboard full of glass items, you know, easily be melted and folded into... It's the, pre it's the premise of being austere. When you lose your job, you have to act like you've lost your job. <laughs> you get another job? To see your jobs! Job here, job there. I don't have a job, sir. Only two ninety nine. <laughs> I'm beginning to think you didn't even go to college. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I was hanging out on campus when we met. I wasn't actually a college student. <laughs> this makes a lot more sense. I put our daughter Rose a little knapsack on a stick and sent her to school today with a little hobo's hat. <laughs> I feel like that's more stylish than anything. <laughs> How else will they know we're poor now at school? Well, I don't know, considering I just made us a delish lasagna. Check out what that sauce says, honey. It's Cabo. <laughs> it's Cabo! It's where we're going! <laughs> I, I spent all afternoon going through your closet, ripping little holes into all of your clothes. <laughs> what? <laughs> ripping little holes in your clothes. It's what poor people do. I'm not poor. Oh, yeah. We are now. I lost my job, George. Where are you beginning to understand? Where did you get these cowboy tickets anyhow? I stole them. <laughs> stole them? From who? The Peters? <laughs> hey, give me those cowboy tickets. <laughs> you know, I worked really hard for these cowboy tickets, but that's a kiwi you got there. You know, that is just damn insane enough. You take these. I also got a gun. <laughs> Uh, you killed the walkers down on Fanboys? <laughs> They're not coming back. Jeez, I like them. They were nice, honey. Were they nice? Were they nice when they wouldn't help us find little Terry when you ran away? Sort of, yeah. <laughs> they were indifferent. It was Terry's <laughs> fault. You remember. Oh, Terry. <laughs> you running away? 
way too. <laughs> yeah, I sure am. I brought with me our family pit bull. It's pretty cute. Yeah. Hey <coughs> there, little guy. Oh, he's got two legs. <laughs> he barks when we get far away from home, so. <laughs> I see that. We'll never be lost. I'm really the Watsons! You've just been caught! You're going home, sir! No, Mr. Watson! <laughs> I just call you running away! Where did you get that radio show from? <laughs> yeah, I guess I didn't really realize they're musical talent. <laughs> the moment I saw his face go white. I was driving around in that Winnebago with all the cymbals and music on it, you know? That family jamboree band, the famous Walker family. Mm. They're the hit of the neighborhood, George! Yeah, but not the county. <laughs> Not, not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dole's ones of being the family musical of the, the county, but his days are gone now. I had to sell all your musical instruments. Do what? It's what you do when you're poor. <laughs> you sell everything that brings you joy in this world. <laughs> Those were Elvis guitars! I know, and they fetched me a pretty good penny. Well, blue for you. It was those dulcet tones that made me fall in love with you to begin with. <laughs> Walking through the quad, and there you were singing. <laughs> the headlight called to life. We were all famous. But we were sure really hot. Let's go. I was going to call my parents. Mother, father, there's a doom in sideburns. I'm never coming home. <laughs> That was so foolish. <laughs> <laughs> foolish, I think we got a great thing going on here. Yeah. Marriage, kids, Cabo, you with your <laughs> illusion of grandeur and me polishing these cans. <laughs> <laughs> think this is an illusion? This grandeur is 100% real. Uh, I wish I had your optimism. But it's tough to have optimism when you lost your job, George. Well, how do you think I felt? Senior year of high school when I lost my job at the surf shack. I don't know. Pretty bad. <laughs> Dish about it. <laughs> George, you're, you're fired, okay? This is a surf shack. Uh, we gotta close everything down. Uh, this is Iowa. You know, there's no wine, there's no one to surf over here. Uh, it's a dumb business plan. Uh, you can just, you know, grab your stuff and take on out of here. You would? Make sure you don't forget your banjo. Oh, thank <laughs> How about, give me all your money? <laughs> what? Okay, I don't have much, but I can give you the, lo the loans from the bank. They're in your name now. Always trust a man who threatens you with a banjo. Yeah. <laughs> Take those on his guitars, too. Okay, sure. You're just insane enough to go far in this world, George. Wow! <laughs> it's the best job I've ever had. <laughs> best two weeks of your life. Uh, it's almost too sure. <laughs> you know, you can always go back to find some work like that. Can you believe it? Might help us. I'm just gonna poop in this hole in the ground you provided her. Oh, good, you noticed. <laughs> I worked really hard on that. I think I'm starting to make it more rustic in appearance, I put some newspapers there. I met some homeless people on the street and they told me to do that. What else did they tell you? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. put these newspapers down, it looks like a yeah, empty newspaper. Uh, you got any cans lying around? Nice little scratch goes out, make yourself a new drinker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do have cans around. How about utensils? You got a little utensils lying around? Uh, yeah, like, like, like silverware and little trinkets. Break them in half, put strings on them, you got ornaments for your Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a lot of sense, actually, now that you, you mentioned the, the ornaments, but... Pretty nice there at the window, like a little like a little wind chime for us. I feel like I've been uh because I had to sell the window, so now the wind can just blow right in. <laughs> Have all those knives and spatulas tinkling around. <laughs> it will give us a homey touch now that our house is gonna be foreclosed upon, George. I'm just not really <clears throat> coming to terms with all this. You lost your job like very recently. One, two weeks. I have a bad memory. Yeah. It's been two weeks, I've been working hard playing the part now ever since. Oh, you think me losing my job was my fault? You're making assumptions, man. Okay, well it's that judgmental look you're giving me right now that makes me feel a little bit self-conscious, George. Hey, have a seat, Sandra. 
You see, here at, uh, here at Apple Corp, we are having to produce massive layoffs, and uh, that, that's not what happened to you, don't worry. No, that only happens to poor people, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, poor people. Uh, but what I had that nice house in the suburbs, my husband's in really good musical instruments. Uh, I live in the American dream. <laughs> So come on, tell me about this promotion you wanted to give us, like You do it up talk it here. I'm just like, no, no, no. <laughs> you know what? Dish. Okay, I might just dish. Okay, so so what Apple Corp has been working on is uh, we're trying to find a cheap bottle of iPhone to give out. So we need you to go uh, undercover as a homeless person. So effective immediately, we're just going to stop paying you. We're going to take all the money from your account and put it in a little storage for you. We're going to collect interest until you come back. I like this plan. You read my resume, you remember that I did theater while in college. <laughs> Method acting training. I appreciate your gusto, sir. My Mrs. Overstock method acting! <laughs> it's done! Was I need you as my science partner. Is it done? Do you hear the people no. sing, singing the songs of angry men? Putting their bites and burn on high and making silence. <laughs> love me, class, love me. Oh, your adulation. It inspires me. It evokes passions in me I did not know I had. You gotta go. <laughs> no. Yeah, probably the theater background I'm really most interested in. I feel like you can really take on the portrayal of a homeless person. Perhaps uh, add a little gusto to your resume. I feel like it goes a long way. So you, you've lived the life of the homeless. Alright, this is good. My husband's idiots will believe this if I do it. Cool. I just got. I'm oh, sorry for getting a little bit more personal about my home life. Like, oh, no, it's fine. I, I just got these sweet combo tickets. So I'm going to go walk down the alley by my apartment. I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> like there's just been something you're hiding from me. What? No. And it ain't the cane, son. <laughs> something else. I forgot you. Your heightened sense of feeling and touch is how you process the world on the answer. It makes me feel a little uncomfortable. There's literally nothing I can do to stop it. You know, some people have keen senses of hearing and others sight. Dogs have great senses of smell. You, my eldest loving husband, uh... <laughs> It's a boy! Oh. It's so beautiful! <laughs> I love it! I love it! Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, labor was super easy. <laughs> 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 it just makes sense. Wow, I don't know what the big fuss was about. The most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Oh, you know me too well, Lady Dog. <laughs> you know, maybe we could use a little trip together. It hasn't been a long since we've touched each other like this. I think you're... I think you got a right idea towards something. Maybe maybe an island, maybe Cabo, maybe Cabo. <laughs> hmm. An island is so vague, I kind of want to take that option. You said Cabo <laughs> twice, and you've already talked about those tickets, so... I do have tickets to Cabo. You know, this does great. I mean, we don't have anything to pack or take with us. Just our hobo utility <laughs> gear. We have a suitcase. We have a suitcase. We have nothing now. Just but our gusto. Just dreams and gusto. <laughs> and the food I've stolen. And the food you've stolen. And this pocket knife. Remember this pocket knife? That's a piece of celery. George. <laughs> You're doing it again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I was always about to give you everything I have. All these good things, but I'll go back to just polish you again. Hey, you down? I'm a failure. George, I'm not a, I'm not a good celery staffer. No one is. <laughs> that's not a thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you don't have to threaten people with vegetables to get what you want. The dreams were so vivid, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to ask me about all that screaming in the night. I thought well, I was that wasn't me. from the dream. <laughs> uh, 
Honey? I'm over here. <laughs> there are gremlins in the bed. I don't want to alarm you. Uh-huh. <laughs> I know their tongue because they have spoken to me before. <laughs> it's best to just let them have the bed for the night. <laughs> Honey, those are throw pillows. It's a really big bed for him. <laughs> those eyes do not deceive. <laughs> you want me to kill him? I did start a four-man band with them, but I'll take them out just for you. You started a four-man band with the pillows? The gremlins? Thank you. <laughs> Man, I might have good dreams about what a performance of that would look like. Yeah, talking Yeah! That dream wasn't as good as I thought it was. Yeah. That was pretty bad. I don't know why I tried encouraging you on that one. <laughs> I didn't want to keep those gremlins out. Yeah. They were so kind and gentle. I said I put them in the fireplace and set them on fire. What? Yeah. <laughs> They're pillows. What do you do? They were too nice anyhow. They had frills on them. <laughs> your your Arkney's banjo playing skills will never be seen again. <laughs> he was a true facade. Hey. Hey. I know someone who's got a little bit of a musical theater background who might be able to help you out. <laughs> Nears my knee, not me. One day more. <laughs> That's all I know. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that won't work as much as my dreams imagine. <laughs> dreams never do work out that way. The American dream. Your dreams about singing with gremlins. My dream that Serena Williams would finish that whole streak she was on. <laughs> that was oddly specific, George. <laughs> had a lot of free time at home before you sold our TV. <laughs> you didn't ask what you did during your 9 to 5 all those years I went to work and you were just here. Pretty much just sat down. You know, most people, they uh, kind of move when the maid service is kind of back to me. You don't have to. Please. Can you move your bean bag out of the way? Yeah, I, this is kind of my thing. <laughs> I'm on a streak. A city streak? Yep. <laughs> Excuse me, Guinness Book of World Records? I don't know if you've heard of me, but I've spent 4,028 days just sitting, and I just <laughs> really need you to authorize this. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. What's that? A dog can catch 14 balls in a row like a human? That's going in the book, sir. That's a world record. Hey, I see you have a dog here. He's really cute. Yeah, he is. What's that over there? I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, did you just... What? This is a world champion dog. Uh, I'm just a weird guy with celery. You make sure. <laughs> this is Air Bud, golden receiver. He's kind of a big deal. Air Bud? Yeah, Air Bud. He had a whole series of movies. You don't recognize him. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I? I just, I heard I left his little sneakers at home, but this, I swear this is Air Bud. Well, that basically, I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records now, and all I had to do was murder a dog. <laughs> Wait, well, you murdered a dog? Yeah. George, your life of crime is disturbing me. <laughs> oh, God, oh, shucks way out of this one. <laughs> it's not like he was making any more movies. The guy was 12. <laughs> I'm getting dog ears. You're right, but that does not... You ever seen Andy Rooney give a good performance in his final years? I see him. Because he's dead, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's not going to back to life. I was hoping. I uh -oh. love me some little rascal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I almost... No, no. What? We can't. Kids are gone. We're too poor for kisses. Oh. <laughs> poor people don't kiss, they just pout like this. I guess we're having a real good 
good night of fucking right now then. <laughs> I was like having sex. Is that not what we were going to? <laughs> I guess, I guess that's like sex. Should have asked those homeless people how they do it. Oh. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. I was, I was trying to fall in love with you again. Oh! oh. <laughs> I like you. I like you doing less. More when you were doing less. It, you know what? Yeah, let's let's go to Caracabo. Let me pack my cans. You know, the kids are going to be gone. I never liked them to begin with. And we can just... Just you and me, if you go to Cabo. Let me see those tickets. Yeah, I'm going to There's a piece of cornbread, honey. <laughs> <laughs>